Hey guys, welcome back to The Real Dads of New York. I'm Richard. I'm Carlos. And today, let's get real about bullying. We deal with it every day. Yeah. Um, and bullying is a loaded term. Um, there is a technical definition of it. Um, and oftentimes bullying is targeted um, for a specific difference. And that's not the Webster's dictionary of what that is, but ultimately it falls into that category. And a lot of times people are like, oh, you put your business online, therefore it's not really bullying. You give the right for people to have an opinion. And the opinion is one thing, but a targeted intentional use of words to bring harm to someone to, to pull them down You're or to degrade to, them. It's to, like, yeah, degrade and belittle yeah. based on your biases. And to be very clear, we all have preferences. There are things that I yeah. see online every day that I don't like. You watch certain movies that I don't like, but I'm not going to go ahead hey, and... Hey, 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 I'm just saying Leave my some, vampire movie some of the stuff you watch, I'm like, what? What is I, that? I, and I'm I, sure for some people watching our content, it's like, what's that? And that's okay. It is okay to have your preference. It's okay to, you know, not I'm particularly saying, like what's being is, said, but... The thing is this, right? Being secretively attracted to the content of same-sex couple... Well, well that's a loaded statement, and, I love. And, and then <laughs> this... Just despise yourself or kind of don't like yourself because you're now turned on by the images that you're seeing. But that's everybody's story. Some people but for some genuinely, genuinely are taken aback by seeing two black men or men in general, or not just men, or, but, or but anyone. Same anyone, sex couple. Correct. Or same gender loving, right? Like people are taken aback by how open and free some of us are being with expressing ourselves. And if you think about a few years ago, that wasn't the case. And so now for them, it was like, you know, people are saying, oh, the LGBTQ mafia, it's like, oh, the alphabet, it's like, it's ridiculous because for the first time, people are living unapologetically and saying, this is who we are. And there is a lane for us and you're not going to push us back into the closet, so to speak. And by well, the way, that, that's the point that I was about to make. I was about to say, cut, um, I'm not going back in nobody's closet. Oh, and we'll not. But I think the problem we're having is that, you know, when our videos go viral, whether it's us or any other person in the LGBTQ plus space, it incites various reactions. Some people, most people, are happy I would say, us. are happy Which, by the way, and supportive. That's the thing I, I think we, we don't pay a lot of attention to. And I don't want to take it for granted that there are so many people who are uh, team Real Dads in New York. Mm -hmm. But sometimes the comments that he doesn't really tell me Cuts to the core. <laughs> Sometimes to the, they're, they're they're very harsh. But my reaction to it. Well, you get us canceled. So, <laughs> so we fix don't, it, Jesus. We don't want. I'm not waiting for Jesus to fix it. I'm gonna fix it myself. We don't want Carlos to respond. Oftentimes, I am. But but the I bullies say, need a yeah. Not that you need a bully, but I think the thing is where when you come for someone, family. You're, you're making it personal. Now, talk about me all you want. My big head, my big feet. You know, I got a little pudgy stomach. Whatever you want to say about me, say about me. I like a pudgy stomach, but it's, it's fine. It's love muffin. <laughs> but it's now when you start making comments about our kids. And yes, yeah. our kids, meaning there's a second one in the mix. Mm -hmm. So at the end of the day, I know I have to become that mother hen that is going to be protective or that lion who's going yeah. to protect their pride. At the end of the day, I'm not here to necessarily get beat upon. Yeah. Even though we give snippets of our life, this yeah. is not all about the argument. The argument that I often see people use on our videos is, well, you put your life out there. What did you expect to happen? And I think, I, I think I yes, expect comments. We expect opinions to be shared. Good and bad. For people who can't control themselves, particularly the right. But when I see things that I don't enjoy consuming online, my you first belong. instinct is not to <laughs> jump in the comment section and tear the person down or, 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 you know, or but some or, who do it is looking for a reaction from us. Yeah, looking for attention, but you know what? And That's again, what? you're looking for attention, not only from us, but for those who follow us. And sometimes we don't have to even go out to, to, to defend ourselves anymore. Sometimes our virtual family goes in for us. But and, I, I think, and I appreciate that too. Yeah. But I think ultimately the biggest argument people use is don't put your business out there if you don't want people to have an opinion. But this is not our business. Correct. It's a but, snippet but again, of our life. An opinion is an opinion. We all have them, right? I don't like certain things that I see online or things that people... Certain or, content or, people post. Yeah, I'm not necessarily not yeah. going to be secretively watching and I'm making comments. Yeah. If I don't like the content, I scroll. scroll. Right. And I think that's the thing where uh, I brought this up simply because I want to know 
we have a contingency plan that yeah. when our kid get to be aware mm -hmm. and their peers or adults react or say things, they're equipped with yeah, the tools to dismantle that. Yeah. But I think it would be lying if we didn't say that some of the comments are like, really? It it's stings. Like, it stings. doesn't hurt. It stings. It stings. It's like, you know, people think. In 2022. People think that I married you for money. Uh, you did. Really? Oh, look at all the money in the back, in the mattress, uh, and, and, and in the, in the, uh, underneath the plant. Child, please. Um, <laughs> people also think that because we've been together for so long that somehow you were grooming me from that time I was 20 or Actually, older. he pursued me. I pursued him. People have that opinion, and so they project it on us. They also think that because I play this character, which is this flamboyant, again, it's a character I play. It is what it is. I understand that to some That's degree. Some of, some of it is your... You know, I have my moment. Personality. <laughs> I have a moment. Wrapped up in when you get but loose. I think ultimately we are so conditioned now to spew venom and hate under the guise of an opinion. And that's narcissistic behavior. It's like, I don't get to tell you how to live. I don't get to project my feelings onto somebody else because what they're doing differs from what I'm doing. And, and on top of that, I don't get to place you into a religious box because the religion that I choose to subscribe to and what you are doing, we there's a conflict there. We don't necessarily have religion. No, no, but we have, we have but spiritual we're spiritual belief. people. But yes. people love to weaponize the Bible against us to say we are going to hell and they're hell. Well, but they don't have any heaven hell of a They don't have the concept of what that is and where that comes yeah. from. Yeah, but, but also I have to, but the human side of me also recognizes it's what they've been taught. And yeah. so when something is that different from what you've known the truth to be, when something's that different than what you've been exposed to, it does incite so this level of curiosity. We're no more, sometimes we're no more sympathetic towards some ignorance. Nope, I block. Block, 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 delete, block, 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 uh, and, delete. And again, I would say sympathetic meaning, as you said, you understand that some of these hate was taught. I understand. But it doesn't mean that I'm going to I'm not tolerating it. Accept or tolerate yeah. it to some extent. Yeah. Um, you're free to try to post stuff underneath the video, but we're going to delete it and block you. Yeah, and also we have control set up that flags certain words because look, ultimately we're human beings and ultimately seeing some of the things gets exhausting, but we have to remember why we do this. We're not doing this to be rich. By the way, that's not why we do this. We do this because at one point in time, we didn't see, we didn't see anyone that looked like us yeah. doing this. And again, people, even people in our community probably can't stand this and that's fine. But I think ultimately, if oh, one, for those haters, thank you. I want to even say haters, just because. Well, jealousy is all, a hater. All skin folk ain't kin folk. You know what I'm saying? Um, it's, a hate, so, it's a hatred. And too. so there are or times when themselves. we don't speak for all black LGBTQ couples. Like that's not who we are. But again, if someone and people do recognize themselves and us, or if we are able to inspire or provide hope or entertainment or whatever the case is, then we've done our jobs. And I think that that idea, we think about people who come from different parts of the world and they might not be able to live freely the right. way they want to, right. but they have some hope by viewing some of our content. And I'm grateful that I can encourage and inspire those individuals, whether it's Jamaica, whether it's Africa, wherever. The bottom line is this, bullying shouldn't be tolerated by anyone. anyone. Because again, you're now projecting your thoughts, how you feel about yourself on me. Because I'm comfortable in my skin makes you uncomfortable. Like, but, what but, the fuck? But, the, but the interesting thing is that when the comments are written, it is often sexually driven. It's like, why is your mind in our bedroom? Why are you worried about what we're doing in our bedroom? Maybe, maybe we should create a... Um... Nope. <laughs> <laughs> don't even go there. But, but again, I don't understand why the first thing people do is sexualize us and our child. Because that's it's, what it's they like, see. It's, but, but it speaks to where they are. Correct. And yeah. it speaks to how they view homosexuality. They view it solely as this sexually deviant thing when the content we push out. But the funny is, thing is when people see a woman and a man doing the same thing we're doing. It, it's, oh my gosh, it's so you, cool. No, you, you, don't see, you don't see, oh, they're straight. No. So we don't, we don't lead by that when it comes to no. the opposite no. sex. But when it comes to same-sex couples, it becomes, oh, those are the gay folks. We posted a picture um, a few, like last year, and it's, um, it's whoa, it got, it's about to rain. 
um, it was you behind me, me in front of you, and Tim in my lap. And we kind of recreated that video, and we'll show it in a minute. And the comments were insane. It was, this is unnatural, this is disgusting, why are you sexualizing that child? When you look at straight couples who exactly. either are having a maternity shoot or mm -hmm. a newborn baby shoot, or even when their kids are toddlers, and the straight man has his shirt off, the mom and he's hugging and he's the, hugging from the, the, the baby, the, yeah. the bump, baby bump, as as well as, as well as the other sibling. The first sibling might yeah. have been holding, and yeah. they're probably shirtless too. They are shirtless, and again, but because we are men, it is all of a sudden perceived as a sexual act. What's also really annoying, and we've already experienced this, and I've addressed this in the video on TikTok already, is you know we are adopting another boy, and people are just. Why not a girl? Why are you choosing boys? These poor boys. What about they're like you know? It's it's like you know nothing about the topic. But also they don't know my history, right? Uh, raising two brothers who, again, from the foster care system. So most people don't know my past, mm. but they're quick to jump on my present. But no, no. But they're not talking about our ability to raise a boy. They're saying that we went out and are intentionally seeking to parent a boy because we're somehow trying to spread the gay agenda. But this is what I'm saying. Me and my mom at the time decided that we we're going to open our homes and adopt. But you didn't say only boys. No, there were there were girls came to us. There were multiple boys came to us. People think. Mm -hmm. And this is where the ignorance comes in, the lack of knowledge. People think that what we did is that we went to an agency and cherry picked, oh, I don't want girls, I only want to adopt a boy. When in Timothy's case, the agency chose us. Mm -hmm. In this other case with little C, the agency chose us. We didn't say we want this, 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 this. And by the way, in our application, they ask us, is there a preference for gender? Is there a preference for race? And we said in no. both boxes, we said no preference. Because to us, a child in need is a child in need. And what's most frustrating is that the people who are quick to demonize us for adopting or demonize us for providing a child a home have not opened their homes or their hearts mm -hmm. to bring in a child of their own. Who need them? And by the way, there are over 407,000 children currently in foster care. The thing is, those individuals who have negative things to say about our journey to some extent, they're finding, thinking that that is our soft spot for them to bully. It's not. And it's not. The only thing is, I'm, I'm saying, at the end of the day, we're going to defend and protect our kids. Mm -hmm. And whether we choose to have another one, another 10, the bottom line is, we're not going to be dictated by others who haven't done shit of how we live. Yeah. Um, and I, I, I still maintain that, you know, part of what we do is a form of entertainment for people. Yeah. And that's fine. If some can, of the things. If we can make someone smile. We, your twirl is cute. <laughs> for some people. Some people think I'm overly feminine. That's your business. That's fine. Um, again, luckily, I don't, I don't live my life based on the good opinion of others. Um, but... There are messages that we get that oftentimes, and I recognize, and I've, I've addressed this before, I'm not as quick to respond to, but there is a woman in particular, um, I need to go back and, and then find her, hope that she's doing well. She says, you know, I'm battling cancer at the moment. And, you know, your videos oftentimes are the things that get me through my day when I have a really hard one. Like, that's why we do this, right? Yeah. We have people who, do, you know, who send us messages saying, you know, I live in a place where homosexuality is persecuted. Like it's, it's not physically safe for me to come out or to be who I am. And thank you for showing me that it's possible that one day maybe I can do the same thing. Like that's why we do this. And we also do it because we believe that we have some of an obligation given that we have, um, you know, started a following, so to speak, to normalize same gender loving families. And again, I say this in every video and I stand by it. We are just one example of that. Yeah. And all of us do things a little bit differently and that's okay. But that's And some what, some some go through becoming parents different ways. Different ways, yeah. Right. So for those who choose to carry a child because they can. But even those who are not interested in having children, this, the, the they idea, shouldn't be targeted. The either. idea is that it's not a one size fits all. Yeah. And I think 
when it comes to straight families or straight relationships, people have accepted the different ways in which people go about that. But the LGBTQ plus space or the perception of us hasn't caught up yet. And so that's why we do collaborations with other creators. That's why we share other people's stories on our pages, because I think it's important people to see the one thing that unifies all of us is a human experience, mm -hmm. right? Now, again, your experience and my experience are not going to be the same. Even our experience together isn't the same. You are more straight passing than I am. So even when we are out in the real world, your experience differs than my experience. Yeah. But ultimately, part of it is about education. And I think to go back to your original point about bullying, people oftentimes challenge what they are not used to, what or it they is like. They're uncomfortable with it within themselves. Or what they're curious about and haven't found the words or the strength or the or, or haven't really come to the realization that that's what I'm feeling. And I'm not projecting that on anybody. But the comments and the bullying and all that kind of stuff, when our kids are at a certain age where they understand and they can defend themselves verbally, we will equip them with that knowledge. Um, it's our job to protect them, which is one of the reasons why we don't show Timothy in every video. It's one of the reasons why we're very selective about the content we place him in and the environments that we have him in, because ultimately he's not choosing to be a part of this, mm -hmm. right? And so we can't choose for him. And even when yeah. they are capable to say, I want to be a part of the video, we're still going to be mindful of what it is. Right. Because again, we don't know where the video is going to go. Yeah. Oh, 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 speaking of kids, oh my gosh, this the bullying, <laughs> which is a whole new height when we show some affection to each other in front of our child. Can I just say, straight couples hug in front of their children all the time. Straight couples That's give, the least each, give each other a kiss on the cheek or on the lips in front of their ch child all of the time. And, and every child, for the most part, most children are weirded out by their parents straight or otherwise. Mom, dad, or whoever, yeah. right? Like, but, also, but we're not doing anything on tour. And I often would say to challenge people's perspectives, like, you wouldn't have a problem if a straight family did this. You wouldn't have a problem if a mom did this they or a dad did this. By that. But whatever the case is, it, it, it's, the, it's, the, it's the double standard that we will continue to push well, there, there will always be double standards. The thing is for us to let those who watch our content to be aware, we're not the one to mess with. And we ain't changing. <laughs> and we're not going back in the closet for nobody. Let us know in the comments um, what other topics we should get real about because we've done parenting, we're doing bullying, and we are open to other suggestions. So comment down below, but be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And until next time, we'll see you soon. Peace out.